Okay, welcome everyone. Stay whatever this is of this build. Step 12 is where we're jumping in. Got got our little jetpack DVO done yesterday. I think that's what that's supposed to represent. Uh, the frustration is strong with this one. <laughs> I'm uh, I'm going to persevere. I'm hoping we're over the hump as far as the worst of it goes. I see a couple of more things that might be challenging, but I think this, the worst of it's in the, the body. I guess we'll find out today whether I'm right or not. But without any further ado, let's hop in and see what, what, I can, what damage I can do today. Okay, so take... You want them going... The opening's going towards the inside. And that puts the washer... Well, the washer on the screw... Onto that doodad. And you're in here, supposedly. Okay, and it, okay, so, and it's just barely got clearance there on that part, so that's an issue, a concern. <laughs> but we'll worry about that as we get to it. And let's see, get our needle nose out. And a rubber band. Let's see if I can get that trick to work today. Slightly chunkier nuts this time, so that's a positive. <laughs> and there, a little screwdriver. And let's see if I can. Okay, it's going to be way down there at the end. <laughs> okay, but well, I think that's going to cooperate. Reasonably easily. Yeah, okay, so it's threaded on. Now, see, this is where I wish they'd give us some of those cheapo sheet metal screws. Let's see, I've got, I don't think that will work. Or cheapo sheet metal. Uh, what do you call it? Uh, wrenches, rather, is what I meant to say. Okay. Because I just don't have enough hands to do this. I think for the right person, this would be a pleasurable experience. But I am not that person. Got a fly in here. <laughs> I hit it twice and it's still going strong. So I'm <laughs> I think I got it that time. <laughs> Okay, so try this again here. See, I can't can hold it, keep it straight, and turn it in. But as I was saying, this is this is just a little bit. Will it go in from this side? No. Where's my? I think I might have the solution. Is this any longer? I think these are a little bit skinnier. Are they going through? No. <laughs> so there's no getting in there to secure it conveniently to get enough pressure on it. So that's, yeah, because that's gone. Okay, we'll... Next question. Which size is this? Okay, so that. Well, let's go. Nope. I didn't really think it would. <laughs> I guess if I had some. I can't think the, what they're called offset pliers. They might. Do I have any of those down? I don't think so. I've got those downstairs. I think those are at my, a different shop. This. Just. So, I think I'm just going to leave it like that, because it's, it's going to be hanging on a, uh, a stand anyway. So hopefully, it won't be an issue. <laughs> this, I'm going to say that still bugs me that this thing's off-center. i say if 
there's just so many little bitty niddling details that sort of bug me about this thing that I'm not finding it super enjoyable. It's one of those things I think the end result is not going to equal the amount of trouble it's worth <laughs> when it's all said and done. For me, anyway. I say, if there's people this probably thrive for this sort of thing, but I'm just not one of them. I'm very much looking forward to getting back to my little wooden models. <laughs> and... And that, you know, that that was hardly any tension at all, and it popped it out of that thing. So there's no this this is a surprisingly good tool, but it's not good for what, the, what we need here. We need something that can apply some real pressure in really tight spaces where this this can't hold the, <coughs> hold those nuts in place. So I'm and and I definitely don't have your wrenches that small. <laughs> Most of my wrenches are made for cars and stuff, so they're not... I don't know if this one will be any better. Get a little bit deeper on it, I think. Try. Okay. Okay, that one did. Go in. All right, let's see if I can... Okay, well, maybe. I got a couple of turns on it. Well, it, it made it, it'll, well, if it was balanced properly, it would stand up. <laughs> not, I don't want to bend it around too much because I'm going to break those loose. And this is where I'm going to say, if you've made it this far with me and you do end up getting this thing, I'm going to say on that initial, these, these four where we made the body, I would say use the short ends on the top part and the long ends on the bottom so you got a little more space here between his legs, his feet. Because that appears to be a bit of a... That's probably why they said to use the short ends on there instead of the long ends, or vice versa. You know, the, like I, said, I went back and undid it and redid it the way I thought would work better just to make that, that one screw fit through here that barely fits. <laughs> You know, if they'd include a, a screw that was slightly longer, that wouldn't have been an issue. But I'm, I feel like I'm really dogging on this thing. It's not that bad. It's just not for me. <laughs> I want to make sure that's clear. It's it's a fiddly little model, but it's and it looks cool, and I like it. But like I say, if it was, you know, maybe 30% larger, where I could get more tools and, and use on it, I think I would like it a lot better. And it didn't have the springs. <laughs> Because those just bug me now. But anyway, okay. Enough venting. That was step 12. Let me pull the pieces for step 13, and I'll be right back with that. Okay, here we go. Let's, he needs some arms. Let's build those. <laughs> Let's see here. Start with that. Right through the wire connector thingamajig. And a little washer. And this guy. And this guy. This guy. Big washer. Little brass fitting and the nut. Okay. And a few times to get it cinched in. Mm -hmm. Like I say, you can get pressure on it up here but I don't have pressure room to put this thing in 
those tight spaces. So that's sort of the issue. And even then, it's not stable. But I think that I think that's good enough. That was not overly painful. So let's see if I can make sure. See if it goes through again that nice. A little washer. Under. Brass cylinder. Flange nut. Big washer. Brass fitting. And nut. See if I can just. See if I can. Okay, that might work better to just twist it by hand with the holding screwdriver. Okay. <laughs> See if it works that good on this one. Yeah, a little bit, yeah. Okay. Alright, so we've got arms. That is step 13. I'm sure that matches the picture. Looks like it. Yeah, I got it. Okay. Now we can... Um, that only took a couple of minutes, so yeah, let's buzz on through. Let's do step 14. Throw, put his arms... Install them. <laughs> All right, so I'll be right back with that. Okay, here we go. Let's see. Now they're going into these little guys there. And if it wasn't challenging enough before, they got the tiny nut and even tinier screw than before. But <laughs> such is my lot in life. Going with it facing inward like that. And put... Looks like, okay, colorful nut on the outside, brass nut on the inside, and you through there, and somehow, <laughs> okay, so pull that back off, load up the rubber band again. <laughs> Give me sort of a pseudo clamp situation here. Actually, you know what? I've got as small as this one is. I've got forceps. No, they're not going to go that far. <laughs> I thought my forceps might bend that far, but they won't. Okay, lay down. One side down. I hope. <laughs> now, don't forget the order. So through the through the colorful flange nut, through the arm, brass nut. This one goes on the inside, the very end. This side, but I'm not sure. <laughs> mm 
Okay, got it. First try. Okay, and that is step 14 with the arms dangling down. Now step 15, You're supposed to take his shoulders and rotate them up. And then bring the arms back down. And hope that Now he might have enough balance to stand up. I'll lift his arms. Yep. He will stand on his own now, thankfully. That'll help with the thumbnails. <laughs> and I'm... Where am I at? And that actually does complete the full assembly of the, the model. We still get to... There's some pieces to put on up here. That I'm going to... I think... I usually don't like to rush my builds, but I'm going to rush this one. I'm going to finish up tonight. I just made the executive decision. I'm in charge of this channel. I can do what I want. <laughs> so that's what we're going to do. We're going to finish up tonight. Looks like it's only a couple more builds pieces. So, uh, yeah, there's only one. Yeah, I don't think, I think we're done with, the, we're, like I said, we are over the hump on the worst of it. So I'll be right back with the, and we'll finish up in one fell swoop after this. All right, here we go. I'm, I've got confidence this is not going to take too much longer. This is this step, and as you can see on deck, I've got all the other pieces ready to roll, but one step at a time. So this should be hopefully straightforward. Got our through, through there with the brass fitting. Whoop. Get the washer to on there, then you go through here, and our keychain, key fob element is supposed to slide on there, it's supposed to stay on there. Okay, there it goes. Out the other side, and washer, brass, and once again we're at that point where there's there enough on there to, yeah there, there actually was enough to grab this time. Now that's the, I think that's that one, yeah it is, so. I'm going to cinch that down a little bit so we get more than half a thread on it. <laughs> it popped it in. I can see that now. <laughs> but I'm okay with that. <laughs> I say it's, this thing's probably going to stay back there anyway and never be seen, but if I ever wanted to hang it off of something, now I can. And it's got the, the... So it can rotate free... Oh, oh, oh focusing. It's got the kind of joint that can rotate freely. I'll be honest, this feels a little bit heavy to be a keychain. <laughs> There's enough mass there where it's not, I don't think that's a feasible usage of it, or you know, even something to hang off the backpack or something. It's, you're going to hurt yourself with that. But that was step 16. So, and for some reason, step 17 is just a picture of it. <laughs> There's step 16, showing you all the steps, getting their thing in there. And then, oh. Okay, it did go through there. Okay. <laughs> it went through this central piece. Okay. But, and then, I, I don't understand what, what this thing's all about. <laughs> It seems like this could be that. But anyway, that's that's where we're at with the other thing. The instructions haven't been great. <laughs> Let's just be not delicate about it. Okay, so now we're on to the point of building our stand, which is what I intend to basically gonna, I'm gonna leave mine on there, I think. So get our washer on first. 
and our flange. And see, this is what I'm talking about. That that much slack. You know, they could have you know used a smaller hole in that flange, and it would be sort of center centered. But they didn't. They didn't ask me. And five. So I need to. I need to chill out. But <laughs> five washers now. Two. Three. Four. Five. Okay. And the brass fitting. Are they? Looks like it's you know, symmetrical. And the fancy little. Whatever that doodad is, I'm not sure. I think it's brass too. It's just not as polished as some of the others. And the brass, the brass nuts. Okay, that actually. Yep. Nice there again. It's not. It's gonna be hard to get that centered. And secured, but oh well. <laughs> I think it's just supposed to look better from the side anyway. It looks like we're about to cover it up. Then another nut on top of it. So that's sort of irritating to me. It's like everything's wonky. <laughs> but that, let's say, that's a big part of the reason why this isn't a good model for me. But that's step 18. Now 19. So let's to and these guys. Okay. Through looks like just sort of they're, they're sort of arbitrary arbitrarily picking holes on the bottom and that's oh from the other direction as I can say that's gonna make it wobbly yeah, it is supposed to go in that way so the flat parts up top okay that does make sense <laughs> then flange bolt on, flange nut on top of that then our little doodad then another nut on it. Ah, come back here. Okay, did I find this one? I found a no. I don't think that was that was too big for that one. Do I have, where'd my set go? Here. Okay, maybe I can make this work. I got a, got a few options. Almost, that should go at a five mil. Yep, there we go. <laughs> Getting close, so I'm gonna bring that over and do the other side now. Let's find the holes it lines up with. Need this one. Need a washer. <laughs> good one. I hope I gave him left enough slack for it. To get over that. Yeah, just barely. It's almost like I meant to do it. Four. Start putting my pieces back in. 
Oop. And now I can cinch these guys down, I hope. I guess I better secure the day. <laughs> okay, duh. <laughs> it's like it's just spinning there or something. <laughs> okay, so got our platform built. Put these guys back up. And where did my other one go? There you are. And if I don't put them up as I go along, I'm not likely to ever put them up. <laughs> Oh, got it upside down. Okay. Okay. Then. Oh, I'm about to be ill, I think. This stupid little thing here is supposed to be down. Hope there's enough thread there for me to grab onto it with. <laughs> there is just barely, but. And so, if when you do that, that really shiny brass piece in the middle, have it hanging down. <laughs> it worked, but it was ten tenuous there. All right, we are done. Well, I've, I've taken this. I took the batteries out just because it was. They kept sort of halfway coming on, so, and it was irritating me. <laughs> Now that I've got it all cinched in, the well, I might be able to get that. Hang on. Will there a screwdriver go through it? Yeah, well. Okay. Still doesn't feel great. Yeah, and yeah, this thing keeps breaking loose. That's why it's got. Okay. Okay. Mm -hmm. Get that first one cinched in, maybe. And let's put the second one down and hopefully lock it in place. I very chewed that screw up, so it's not gonna. Okay, maybe that'll do it. Uh, okay, get our LED reinstalled, and it's. Falling out or didn't want to. <laughs> yeah, they should put a dab of glue on that. Cause now it's stuck. Okay. <laughs> hmm. I don't think I've got clearance to go down. Nope, I do not. Okay. It went in even there. Get these in again. Not 
quite deep enough for three batteries, the three batteries it calls for. <laughs> Okay, there we go, maybe. Okay, got that in now. Let's, it's three threads that it goes in. <laughs> Has arms out, that back there. Okay, dim the lights. And, nope, oh, I missed that one. Hang on. Okay, that went. And, let's see what we got here. Got a, uh, two down. <laughs> okay. And, like I was saying earlier, it's, this is, it's not a bad looking result. I do like the effect. I like the light thing, you know, it's real dim from the side, but the top it looks a lot better. Uh, it's a cool little project, the instructions leave something to be desired, I think I've made that clear. The materials, they, they, they didn't use the best, I personally don't think they used the best choices on some of the, you know, some of the, some of the screws and nuts could have fit better. Uh, you know, I say that I was having way too much trouble threading these on, particularly the ones that went all the way through. Um, I, say, I do like the result. I do not foresee myself buying, and, and that, that LED is questionable. <laughs> I do not foresee myself buying any more of these. I think this was a an experience that I do not look to repeat. And I say that LED went out again. It, well, okay, I've just lost the colors. <laughs> I've just got red now. It's not cycling. Um, so it's not something I intend to follow through on again. We'll get back into some wooden models quick enough. Uh, tomorrow, as a matter of fact, I got a I got a nice palette cleanser lined up. It's it's designed for eight and up, so I'm, I think it will be exceedingly easy. <laughs> I say if you've got the patience, the dexterity, the eyesight, and everything. I don't not recommend these, but these are, are for very specific people, and like I've said several times already, it's just not me. Uh, thanks for watching, everybody. Like, subscribe, comment, complain, share, do whatever you want to with all of that. Be good to one another, stay safe, and I'll see you next time. Bye!